she's got him. No, she hasn't. He's running. He's running right. Running right. She's chasing him. Male here, the females to the left. Here comes a female. Oh, oh we need the other lioness. She's calling the other one. There, she's straight in front of us. It's looking good at the moment. We sat with these lions until the sun went down. There was no sign of Pella which was either very good or very bad. True to four. Who's next? Na, 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 na. No wild dog. First cheetah, 34. Okay, so CF 17's in the same sort of direction. You want a bearing? There she is. There's a cheetah looking at us. I think. Yeah, three of them. Hooray! Telemetry has paid off. We have got some cheetah. Ah, hey? That really does feel good. We have been very patient for many days now. And finally, our patience has paid off. Tracking these kitties with telemetry, as we did here, is just one way that Wildlife Act monitors cheetah survival rates and population numbers. The major mission is to help increase their population in Southern Africa through monitoring and research, which is what we were doing, relocations and field interventions such as helping injured animals. Here, Kirsten fills in the joyful record of our sighting of CF-17 
aka Susie, and her three cubs. Her name's not really Susie. It is now 2.30 in the morning. My eyes are really struggling to stay open. But we're going far to the north, to Tlutluwe, to find wild dogs. Any luck, the Bungulungu, what are they called? I think it's the Bungulungu pack. And fortunately, they lost a member probably a day ago or so, and most likely to a crocodile in the Tlutluwe River. They've just found the collar which was giving off the ominously titled mortality signal. So they're down from nine to eight, and hopefully we'll find those eight this morning. We are now in the northern part of Hlusue and we've got good strong signal of the pack of dogs we're looking for, the Bungulungu pack. And with any luck, they'll emerge sometime as soon as it gets light into a place where we can film them. So Raina doing a spectacular job of scanning for them, despite the fact that I'm sure she's operating on about 25% brain power given the amount of sleep she's had over the last two weeks. find ourselves in a conundrum because we've got signal and they're moving but the bush is thick and there are two roads to which they could be moving but we can't see one road from the other road and so we have to take a chance and wait on one of them we can't wait in both so we're sitting here hoping they're going to pop out on this road and trying to monitor the signal carefully to make sure that we pick up a direction if one becomes obvious. But they're definitely moving now.
brilliant. Brilliant telemetry skills from Serena and from Jamie. Oh my word, my Oompa Loompas! So this one, that's male walking towards us towards one lying in the road. That's Bullseye, he's the alpha. He's the most beautiful dog I've ever seen. So those two, the alphas, right in front of us. Yes. And Pisani, the alpha female. Bullseye, the alpha male, marking territory, smelling each other's butts, that's what <laughs> they like to do. The anal gland contains a lot of information about the state of an animal's emotional welfare. And eat it again. Delicious. And roll in it. That is spectacular. Vom and roll in your vom. Good job there, buddy. This is the Mbolunga pack. Mbolunga. Isn't that a great name? Conjures images of mountain ranges or vast expanses of untrammeled wilderness. Ah, the Mbolunga hills. Ooh, the Mbolunga plains. It means sphere or ball in Zulu and is the name of the hill behind the boma in which the pack was habituated to their new home. The males come all the way from the Kalahari Desert and, as such, seem to be afraid of water. The females were born here, at Lutluwe Mfolozi. There was something moving about watching the pack disappear that morning. It conjured a feeling of deep concern and profound hope that these vulnerable wolves will find relative safety at Tlutluwe and Folozi and live to raise future generations of the endangered Lycaon Pictus. <laughs> 